All right, good news, everybody. Great news, actually. The orange hats are finally in. Look, this is the old one. See it all dirty, not bright enough. Look at the difference. We had to go through multiple revisions. These are the brightest orange hats in the biz. You can wear them out on a run or you can wear them to a UFC fight, sit ringside, and people will see you on the TV. What's that? What are you laughing at? Uh, How I think? Seen, yeah, this is like a weird one. When I go out to these events, I want people to know it's me, baby. I'm the real Jeff. If you see people wearing a, a slightly dimmer version, get it out of here. That's a fugazi. That's a phony imposter. Don't put that one on. That's the old one that's dirty and we fucking got rid of it. We scrapped it. Super bright orange hats are out now. Go to the website, jeffsbarbershop.com, jefffm.com, jeffwittick.com. They all go to the same place. And over there, you can get the hair products. You see these babies? Not the deodorant. It's not out yet. It will be out soon. These babies you could get in the bundle right now. Package deal. You get everything. Buy them now, cocksuckers. Okay. I like that aggressive approach. You go grab this baby over at jeffsbarbershop.com or jefffm.com or jeffwittick.com. They all go to the same place. Uh, the shop is looking great. We could show you guys what it looks like here. We still have some merch left up there as well. The site is super cool. If you haven't checked it out yet, you could go over there and you can move the products around. You can see them in 3D. Even if you're not going to buy them, just go there and window shop. Check it out. Play around with it like that. No complaints. It's been a 10 out of 10 review on every product so far. We have some items left. Not much. Get there quick. Get there now. Hurry up before it's too late. You'd be devastated. You miss out on this opportunity here. You don't want to go to school and not have this fucking merch. You're getting made fun of, bullied, stuffed in a locker. You don't have this orange People hat. People that wear these hats are the boys. That's right. Make fun of the... <laughs> That's right. Yeah, nobody's going to make fun of a bright orange hat. No? No, not at all. So there you go. Be the tough guy in your school. Don't take no shit from nobody. Wear this bright orange hat. Go to sit ringside at UFC. All right. Look no further. The perfect hat is here for you guys. Go get it now before it's gone. All right. Let's get on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nelk boys had Elon Musk last week. But over here on Jeff FM, we got Lil Mo Mozzarella. How you doing? Oh, we're going to have to oh, check those audio levels, man. You better fix them audio levels. It's about to get crazy in here. <laughs> You know, you know Eli Musk and me, we're, we're cousins. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Are you serious? His mother and my mother are both mothers. <laughs> Together. How you doing? All right. Let's give a... Uh, can you play that TikTok? Some of Mo's best work. His most popular work. I shouldn't say your best because all of it's incredible. I, I huh? didn't even start yet. That shit's fucking it's light. Like, did you say that? Which one are you going to play? They're going to indict me for looking too good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Show his most popular work. Pull it up over there while we get settled in. We got you some cigars. Where the fuck you get them cigars? Over here. Is it good? I mean, you mean me caught them. I don't know how to cut cigars. I'm not and a this cigar guy's smoker. over here with a guinea tea that's fucking dirty. <laughs> He's no, mocking not. us. I just, that's not new. It's new. It looks like he just fucking changed the oil on a car. <laughs> on a Nova. What's up? Mo, I'm happy to have you in here. Uh, you are from Brooklyn, correct? I'm a Brooklyn Queens guy, yes, but they, they, they fight over me, you know? Big fan of your work. Thank you, brother. I don't know too much about what you do, but I know you're hilarious. You review food, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, it's like the medium, you know? Comedian? I I'm doing stand-up, yeah. Go up, go up. Go up to his popular, po well, most popular Because I have work. a couple pinned over there. You know how you know you're a fat bastard? <laughs> you gotta lift your leg up like that. <laughs> Throw it up to get up. You know what I'm saying? That's it, a little leverage they call it. How you doing? I mean the how you doing. For, I brought it back, bro. Listen, I brought back a lot of shit on the East Coast. A lot of people ain't giving credit for. First off, how you doing? The way I do it, there's a lot of guys doing it now. You don't see they all do it? Yeah. There's a big Italian TikTok culture. Right, right? Yeah, you got... Uh, like what's it's like a, no, I don't know. I'm not going to name names because I'm the boss. They just, there's a lot of like... Uh, social media it's like a like an Italian TikTok community yeah it's like almost like a Jersey Shore type thing yeah but you know I'm not a Jersey Shore guy right of course but I'm saying there's a difference I know we come from the same place I, my accent might have faded a little no, bit but I'm, I'm just sure it'll say come this, out more but, but, but it's there's a major difference yeah of course I'll hit you now with a fucking Louisville Slugger <laughs> you know what I mean you got Over one there, in the car wanna... you got a Louisville Slugger in the car you know what I mean? got I, the pistol right here I got the pistol <laughs> We got your soundbite in there. That's that's the best soundbite going. Yeah. You know what it is about you that I really was drawn to right away? It's your energy. 
Every yeah. time you click on one of your videos, it just puts me in a good mood because you're Thank in you. such a good mood. Thank and you. you could be around anybody in any neighborhood, and you're just fucking so excited. How you done? How you done? And I tell all my guys that I just want, it's all about the energy. I don't care about how talented you are, yeah. how, how much fucking money you make. It's not about that. I just want to have good, happy faces. What's around. your name again? That's Steven. Steven. He's my right hand man. We you had don't to put fucking a, talk? This you know is, who was looking for you the other day? I'm serious. When I was here, somebody was looking for you. Me? Yeah. Who? Nobody. <laughs> uh, you know I'm from New York? No, I don't know. I don't he, know. No. I'm from Yukon. Uh, upstate. <laughs> no, yeah, Yukon. Is it upstate? Oh, you can nuts in your mouth. Oh, I said it wrong. I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah, I you it. fucked it up. You can put the... I don't remember it. He hasn't been here in a couple weeks. We had to so put him on slow. ice. We had to put him on ice. He's, yeah, he's slow right now. He's he's thawing out. You're he's, thawing out. Yeah. But you are from New York. No, I'm from Maryland. Maryland? Yeah, I grew up in New York. There's, everybody's a fed in Maryland, no? What yeah. the fuck? Say, so, you know, are you related to like an agent? He, he, he's an informant. <laughs> he's an informant. Hey, I mean, we are recording ourselves and broadcasting it to you know, hundreds, hundreds of thousands. Ourselves. We're informing ourselves. No, Mo, I don't think I should have wore this outfit. They're going to indict me for looking too good. Okay. How, you How you doing? See what happened? They made fun of my teeth. Did they? Yes, yeah, so I got new teeth. <laughs> oh, so you are you, you are a victim of cyberbullying. No, I wanted to get new teeth, and I was like, "Yo, I, you know, I, it's easy. people floss shit." Let me see those teeth. Well, I just drink an espresso. Wow, right? per no, perfect. Well, you see how they used to look? Yeah, but you know, some I, people go too white. My you, friend got his teeth done, and he don't even know how to smile anymore. No, he has to you, relearn how to smile. With his new no, teeth. you know, because they look like dentures then. Yeah. No, but no, I was saying like you, you know, a lot of people floss with jewelry, this and that. You know, I was like, yeah, they're breaking my balls about my teeth. Let me go get my teeth fixed at like Cardi B, you know? Yeah. All right. You, did. you earned it. Not now that's art. like a diamond making a ton of noise. Yeah, now I'm shining like a diamond. That's artwork right there. What? You have an original style. Your TikTok right there. That's art. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm my own guy. You know, there's a lot of people using my shit, you know? But what happened was for a minute, like, I, I stopped trying to be me. So it's so weird. It's like, I was like, so many people are trying to be me that I don't want to be me because I look like I'm biting off of them. I feel like you're authentic as no, authentic as No, I know, I know, but this goes through your head. Like, it went through my head. I was like, yo, it's like... I, like you're putting on an act? TikTok, what it does is it'll show you on, like, people that are like you. Do you ever notice that? Yeah, yeah, the algorithm. Yeah, so it's like, I, so I'll end up seeing, like, five people in a row going, how you doing? How yeah. you doing? I'm like, dude, it's so annoying, like... I don't even want to say it anymore. So it's kind of like that. Si the one, well, you do work with side talk. You want me to? You could fucking. You want me to get rid of that thing? Annoying, I'll isn't fucking it? burn this. Thing. <laughs> Put it in the bathroom. Put this. You should have got a dozen of them. You throw them out twelve times. <laughs> yeah, side talk. You can show the side talk. That's so nice. yeah, you work with side talk. I did something with side talk. We did the barbershop back in December. We had Nems on, and now you're kind of. Are, are you hosting? You are doing some hosting work for them? For side talk? Yeah, I've hosted the show uh, three times, and they they blew up with the Byron. Yeah, Take yeah. me out to dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, Bing Bong. I was like two episodes before that, yeah. Okay. And yeah. now you're how you doing is the next big thing taking off. I guess so, man. Yeah. A lot, yeah, but you know what it is? It's like I don't know if I'm credited as the how you doing guy. So you think other people are getting credit for your I thing? I think so. I think they may be taking credit. I don't know. I don't know. I think we should have said it straight now. I might have to own the how you well, doing. Well, that's what we're doing here today. You know what they say about uh, giving people their flowers while they're still here. You yeah, know? yeah, That's yeah. what I want to make sure that we get. So you I'm get not, your praise for this. I, I didn't invent how you doing, but oh. no one does. How you doing? You that's put your own I twist say. on it. What, what about twist? Wendy Williams? If you want to hear something interesting, I'll tell you a Wendy Williams story. She may be listening to this. She may not be. I know she's going through some issues. Yeah. Wendy Williams says, how you doing, right? So mm -hmm. one day, one of my catchphrases is, nobody moves, nobody gets hurt. So I put a post up, say, how you doing? And Wendy Williams puts a post up and says, nobody moves, nobody gets hurt. Oh. And I thought it was so interesting. Somebody flipped it to me and they go, this is so crazy. She definitely watches your video or something. I don't know. Like, yeah. It was weird. That's the beauty of this biz. Yeah. You know, you never know who's watching your stuff. Dude, you know who just came up to me and, and uh, was I talking? John Voight. John, you know who John Voight is? No, I have no idea. Are you serious? Oh, is it the guy that you just did a TikTok with? No, John Voight is fucking Angelina Jolie's dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in, uh, what's the, sh the yeah, show? The, the movie, uh, the, the, what's it called? With the, Ray, Ray uh, Donovan. Donovan, yeah. Yo, he came up to me. He said I was going to be a star. Hey, he's got a good eye for talent. I was just trying to say, like, it's crazy. It's weird. You know, that was cool. Yeah, no. I, I was going to do stand-up, and um, I was with Nick Totoro. No, John and Nick Totoro. You don't know who anybody is. Forget this guy. I got. I smashed my fucking head you up. Know, good. You don't know who John Totoro is? I do. And Nick Totoro? 
<laughs> he know. Of course he does. Yeah, well, this guy's the man. All right, that guy Legend. told me I was going to be a fucking movie. St- he, no, he told me I was going to oh, be a the superstar. Oh, guy from Star Wars. Uh, wow, he was in Star Wars? Oh, no. Not. Oh, no, that was like Luke Skywalker in the top right. No. Bro, you don't know who John Voight is? You guys, when he's 12? I know who he is. So put up Nick Totoro or Nick Totoro. Nick Totoro, <laughs> Nick Totoro, Totoro. Steven, get him some fucking... Grab the slices. Grab a, some garlic knots right and here, slices. That guy. It's my guy. I just did a video you with him. You just did a video with him. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was saying. You know who he is? He's an actor. Yeah, yeah, of course. He said, how you doing? I was talking to him on the phone, and I was talking about things I'm doing, comedy and all this shit. Mm-hmm. Yo, get me a fucking soda. <laughs> Steven, get him a... Get you, want, me some, you want a limoncello? That shit's... I don't even know what you're drinking. What is that it's shit? It's sparkling water with a little flavor. Nah, that shit. I want real drinks. I don't have soda in this is house. Is you drink? It's, yeah. It's, it's LA. We drink out of paper straws. Yeah, you guys are pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you guys fucking... What is this shit? You watching cows? But anyway, this place is a fucking shithole. I was talking to that. I was talking to him on the phone, and John Foy overheard me talking. He yeah. goes, what do you do? I said, Scott, me, are you going to be a star? All right, Mo, enough of the name dropping. What are your thoughts on climate change? I don't know, man. I'm more of like, I, I live for the, for the moment. Think like, it's a hoax? I'm thinking about like, my me, my family, my kids, mm-hmm. maybe their kids. I'm, I'm not thinking about like 10 generations later. Yeah, after that, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Right? yeah. I think this should be a cut over how many generations you have to care about in life. Are you religious? Yes. Okay. Believe in God. Is this food? Yeah, we got your garlic knots. We got you a couple slices. The fuck am I gonna do with this shit? (laughs) (laughs) Bro, you crazy, bro? Like a rat. You showed up an hour late. (laughs) Was was, I an hour late? It was hot an hour ago. We had it fresh for you. Oh, it's nice and cold. I thought it was just positive energy all the time with you, you know? But look, I'm seeing the real side of you. This is what podcasts bring out. We only see you on TikTok where you're all like, you see a slice, you're like, wow. But not today. So not what us. do you want to talk about? Let's go. I thought you were just going to be excited to see the slice or something like that. You know, I have some questions <laughs> it, here for you. Is a pizza slice supposed to have flop? Or is it supposed to be? I don't care about that. <laughs> How do you stay so positive all the time? No, I'm not. When I'm not on camera, I'm not always positive. Okay. I just have like a rule. I'm not going to film when I'm negative. All I'm right. not like that. I like rants that are funny. Like I'm a ranter if it's funny. I'm trying to be funny, but I'm not going to rant about something I really care about. Yeah. Like I'm not going to rant about like how I don't give a fuck about Coyote choking on plastic straws and shit. <laughs> yeah. So you wake up and have bad days at times. Yeah, but why would you post that? See, this is a new thing for me because I share everything. I shoot all the time and we do interview you? people. And yeah, when I, I'm having a bad day, I still have to film because I have I do podcasts. You know. Yeah, it's different. Sometimes wow. I miss the days where I was just doing TikToks when I was in a good mood. Right. What if you're in a bad mood and you got to do stand up and you have a show booked already? Suck. You got to act. You're show business. Listen, I tell you right now, I'm learning like. The show must go on, you know? Yeah. I don't care what happens. You got to figure it out, you know? I got this kid. He's on call right now. We take callers. He's uh, he well, he's a young kid. He's a comedian. He got all burned up. He got hit by a car. And he's going to call in and tell some jokes and stuff. He's a fan of you. and I, He knows me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's from Jersey. Okay. Where so he, he does he does TikTok. Um, but I just want to prep you on like he was in a bad accident. He got hit by a, a fucking the guy just hitting. Or no, he hit him. And the guy was fine. He ended up almost dying. He was in the hospital for like six months. Yeah. But he's got a real dark sense of humor. You want to give him a call, Oscar? Is he going to try to break my balls? He's going to probably try to break our balls, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Not. And fine. what do we do? We can't, can't make fun of him back. You guys got abuse. Do you think that um, there's an advantage to having... Like to having to be like have some kind of like this kid's got a burnt face. You like on TikTok, you ever notice that people that have one eye? Yeah, like they go viral, you know? Is yeah. it because you got that like all oh, like people feel bad so they like it? Yeah, that could be it. You ever it's, see that like really strange people? But now think about how how it's starting. Look at Beetlejuice. Are you are you talking conspiracies here? You want to dive no. in? I think it's got something to do with the Chinese government TikTok. <laughs> We could go there. I don't know anything about my the way I think, and everybody else is probably totally different. Yeah, I'm not a big conspiracy guy. Yeah, not because I don't believe in them, because I'm like, all right, everybody knows that shit. What's better, Chinese food or Italian food? Italian food, obviously, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to get you warmed up with the easy questions, and then we'll dive into the harder ones after. Uh, this is gonna be a hard hitting interview right now with this guy. You know, this could go terrible. We could ruin his life. Or right. he could fucking ruin ours. Which we could get canceled got- for this. Have you, you been you- canceled yet? No, I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> do you believe in that? Do you believe in cancel culture? I hate it. What do you think they would come after? 
Come after you for Everybody loves you. Nah, I fucking crack him in the head with a beach ball bat. All right, a quick word from today's sponsor. We got a good one today. Canadip CBD. Canadip CBD has been helping my co-host here get off of va- his vape because he's been frying up his lungs and it looks lame. So we got him on Canadips now and he's loving it. It's helping him with his sleep, anxiety, recovery. People love it. How are you doing with this, Stephen? Are you loving it? I feel great. I feel yeah. on top of the world. So no spit required for that, huh? You're able, you're able to get it in here on the podcast and nobody even... Yeah, yeah. I haven't even seen him spitting in anything. He's getting that nick, that itch I have in my head. Incredible. Canadips is the nation leading CBD dip pouch that is tobacco and nicotine free. Canadips CBD has partnered with me to offer you guys their California roll pack that includes all five of their flavors for 30% off. That's right. For $7 a can and only $35, you can rip pouches of mint winter green citrus mango and spice click the link in the description or head to canadips.com and use promo code jeff on the california roll for 30 percent off canadips cbd are 100 thc free and utilize water soluble technology that really works not another tincture and gummy buck up this is a cbd product designed for men like me <laughs> that's right if you don't want to hide the dip cup from your wife or play sneak at you in the garage. Canadip CBD is the perfect complement to your lifestyle. Head to canadips.com or hit the link in the bio and use promo code Jeff for 30% off the California roll. Instead of paying $50, save 30%. That's right. The perfect discreet dose, Canadips, can be used in the office, church, the next family barbecue, or while you're on your next adventure. No smoke, spit, or smell. Let's ride. Click the link in the description and take advantage of this amazing discount for my crew. I love it. Thank you, Canada Dips. Keegan, welcome to Jeff FM. We got Lil Mo Mozzarella here. We got Steven, the bathroom boys. Okay, cool. I just prepped them a little bit on your story. I told them you're a comedian with a real dark sense of humor. You had an unfortunate accident. We can relate on that. I found you on TikTok. I thought you were super funny. And also you caught my eye, obviously. We were talking about Chinese conspiracies and stuff like that. Mo was saying something about, you know, algorithms and and things. Uh, But let's just get uh, into a little bit about you. I'm a fucking loser, man. No, uh, (laughs) um, no. uh, Yeah, I don't know. I got a I got a bunch of burns on me right on my arm and my face, you know. So that was just Uh, an accident. You were driving your car and some maniac blasted you. Out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, uh, he like he got super drunk and then drove really fast and then hit me with that car. Freak accident. Your whole life can change. It doesn't have to be your fault. This guy just driving his car, smacked whole life. But did your has voice changed. change? Or you, or you yeah. always, your yeah, voice? Yeah, my voice changed. They, 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 because they shove a tube right down my throat. See that right, right there, right, that, right, little, right. that little pocket. And I had a bunch of smoke inhalation, so I got like a raspier voice now. No, your voice is cool. Though. Sounds cool. Yeah, you, oh, cool, I mean, yeah. you definitely got a fresh voice. Kind of like a Heath yeah. Ledger joker nah, a little bit. Nah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly like yeah. my father. Yeah, you got a sick voice. That's cool. Yeah, I've been working on my singing, my singing career. It's not going too well. <laughs> we'll get there, you know. I used to sing and dance too. <laughs> for chicken cutlets. <laughs> hey, so I had too many I was going to open mics for singing, but I had too many fire themed jokes and people just got tired of it. Or too many fire themed songs. You ever see that key and peel sketch? Where the guy is in the yeah. audience and they're like, uh, I think they're trying to like make fun of everybody. And the guy's like, make fun of me. And yeah. then he starts doing it. And then they just fucking bombs. Do me. Yeah. Hey, man. Look at that. Look at that pink sh- shirt you got on there. Wow. Where'd you get that? QueerTShirts.com. <laughs> it's in support of breast cancer awareness. I've had that reverse where like someone's heckling me while on stage and you can tell they're trying to get around the burns. So what do you do do? a burn joke? I'm like, I don't have any. I don't know what you want me to tell you. You're very self-deprecating. I I noticed from your videos and I like that. We all do a little bit of that, except for Mo. This guy is uh, the opposite of self-deprecating. I think you're kind of like, I mean, but, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how you doing is like means a, like a lot of different things, you know. Elaborate on that. Like I'll give you something. Like if somebody said, if like a hot girl works by, yeah, you could say how you doing. You know. Okay. Or if somebody says something that sounds sus. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, you know what I'm trying to say? Like somebody say somebody says something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or if you made a ton of money. 
you know how, how you doing? doing all right you know like these are yeah it's he, like a, it's like almost like a punchline or something the way i say it you know mm-hmm. it's like uh i'd like to try it i'd like to try the how are you doing let me hear it how are you <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay you want to give him a, a coach him a little on that well i coach him on how to say how you doing yeah yeah he, i'd like to learn i would like to all right I'd so like let me start with the how how <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to do more movement if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, definitely do that. And then, voice more movement. Doing, doing. Put, put it all, all together. Let me hear it with the hand. How you doing? How you hey, doing? we're getting there. We're getting there. This, Bro, this guy... fucking calzone sucks cock. <laughs> well, it's cold now. And no, no, no. Listen to me, bro, bro. You're from New York. Yes. You want to make believe that this calzone is good? Well, Joe's Pizza, that's from New York. They came out here. I don't give here. a fuck where he's from. That ain't New York pizza. All right. I, I'm not, I understand. Not beggars can't be choosy. No, shit. no. We brought it kind of as a bit. We wanted you to complain about I'd it. I'd like to see another bite. It was a bit? He wants to see another bite. You I'd know? like to see another bite. What? I, I'm just not there. I'm not getting a very good... I haven't seen the calzone, so I'm not aware. I'm not in on this yet. So do I don't want to eat it no more. Do it for the guy. You Could know? I see it? Could you hold pizza? it up? Come on, just what do it. Do, do it for the guy. Bullshit. <laughs> for the guy, yeah. Fuck out of Just do it. You're trying to set me up. <laughs> what is this shit? That's why. That's why uh, do you even know how to cut air? Yeah, of course. I was a barber in Staten Island my entire life. Is that I started what you at 14. For real? I started cutting high school, going to the barber shop. But let, while we got Keegan here, Keegan, so you're about two years out. Your accident was right around the time mine was. I don't. I'm yeah. not trying to compare here. You know, we talked a little before this. Uh huh. How you holding up? How you dealing with everything? Oh, uh, life's terrible. You know, life's garbage. Um, no, I'm joking. Uh, no, <laughs> it's all right. Are you, you know? able to find joy and stuff? No, everything's fucking garbage. Everything's terrible. <laughs> yeah? Is it comedy no. helping you cope? I'm sorry. I, no, I'm not being sarcastic enough. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, you, yeah. Okay. So he's just messing with us. He's just joking. No, he's fine. Life's okay. Yeah. The kid's <laughs> fucking <laughs> fine. Well, he's breaking my boss. This kid's fucking got out of bed. He's jerked off. He rubbed out three, three nuts. Dude, he's I did. Good. I got so nervous. Your piece uh, of no, deal I'm, works. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It was gross before the accident. But uh, it got better. <laughs> yeah, they did something to it. They were like, "Hey, listen, you were on fire, but we made it like a little bit bigger, and that's we did all skin, we could do for it. It's you. denser. Yeah. It's denser. <laughs> no, dude, like it's a weird injury to have burns. Like I don't have if you look, I don't have all of my eyebrow now, and like because of that, people always go like it's like tilted up, so people always think I have a question now, and I do. You know, it's why God. Um, <laughs> It's a weird injury. Like, I can't go in the sun. And when you can't go in the sun, you realize how much sun there is. It's bizarre how much sun is outside. Wait, why can't you go to the sun? Well, is that for life or is this just... Steven, you can't go to the sun. It's for like another year. That's rough, man. My friend here can't go in the sun either. He's got vitiligo. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Oh, you really do have it? Yeah. It's all over me. But I'm already white. That's as possibly can be, so I kind of like... Yeah. So well, how are you a co-host? You barely talk. I know. <laughs> it's co- I was on another podcast, and the co-host didn't talk either. What is it? This is not my do? show. What do you want me to do, so, and- so no, I'm being serious. I'm I don't want him to talk. He's yeah, got to like run it by me. If, if it's he's like he's gonna- like King Jong Un. So, like, so, so let me ask you a question. Am I allowed to ask questions, or I just gotta do whatever the fuck you show. want? Yeah, do whatever you want. All right, so I have a question. Why doesn't a co-host talk? Because it's like if a... a, a, a but what's what is a co-host? Like, you're what making him nervous. What, no, I'm asking. No, I'm not nervous at all. I'm asking. What does a co-host do? You just your yes man? <laughs> I don't know what he you wants do. Me to, yeah, he wants me to be a yes man, yeah. But, but what is a we're fucking cannoli, Steve? No, but like, what do you... Let's talk about what he put this place a fucking shit all. I mean, he went outside, he brought the pizza, he heated it up. Yes. There's no way he could possibly heat the food up that fast. Did he heat up the calzone? It wasn't that hot. <laughs> it was cold. Bro, I heated it up seconds. in the microwave. Oh, you did? You microwave. Nobody microwaves a fucking calzone, you strunts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you crazy? Why are you expecting me to heat? What do you want me to stand there for an hour while it heats up? Yeah, but at no, least you give toast it ten, five, the calzone. Ten minutes. Five, ten minutes. You want me to put it back in the oven? No, oh. I, you can't. Now you ruined it. Let me try. I'll be the real judge. It tastes like fucking rubble. <laughs> Get the cannolis for him out of the fridge. No, no, no. Hold up. I'm not doing this. Why? Because I don't have to. <laughs> I want to issue this. I'm on to about calls. So you heat up food wrong. <laughs> you got a fucking mic that looks like it came with a fucking Fisher Price set. <laughs> Where did you get that mic? You don't even got a respectable mic. Look at my mic. See the fucking look at your Bro, mic. I do what I want. That's a quality. Right, so the co-host. 
He's getting co-host money. Get him, yeah. He got a hip of Mike. You don't know how to eat a fool. You know why? Dude, I'm the man. I do what I want. Um, go get him the cannoli. No, I don't want. I don't want no one. Keegan. Yes, you want one? No, I really yeah. don't want a cannoli. Uh, the espresso was great. You want another one? No, I'm good. <laughs> but I'm just saying, the espresso was great. And I wanted to identify the role of a co-host because I don't understand it. Because I'm thinking maybe I could. He be just a backs me up. If I'm if I'm looking at my notes or something, maybe he could chime in and just say how you doing or something like that. What's going on? You believe in aliens? Maybe just throw out a wild card Let's question. Let's talk about some cool shit. Well, Keegan's gonna run some jokes by us. Oh, and we're supposed to say if we He's like. He's a him comedian as well. All right. Yo, and I'm not a real comedian. I'm a new comedian. I just started being a comedian. Dude, that's all right. No yeah, comedians are real comedians. I just started working with um with like a whole bunch of dudes like that comedy writers and shit that like oh, nice. it's my jokes. But they just helping me punch them up, you know? Cool. Yeah, Keegan, I'm sorry to ambush you with all this going on right now. I know we chatted about this for weeks now to get you on the show, but I feel like you'll be a recurring guest. He goes back to New York tomorrow, so I needed to get him in here tonight. This is your time. You got the stage. Let's hear some jokes. Oh, you want to hear some jokes? Yeah, yeah, that's what you were working on earlier, right? It's like telling a doctor to die. It's so weird without a crowd. No, it's um, not like telling a fucking doctor to do a surgery. You're a comedian. We brought you on a comedy show. Okay, ready? So, so uh, what I'll do is I'll normally I'll go on stage and I have to fucking calm people down because everyone's afraid to laugh at a burn victim. Oh uh, yeah, I'll talk about grafting. Like grafting is when they take skin from a healthy part of your body. Like they'll take it from my leg where it wasn't burned and they'll just put it on a messed up part. And that's funny to me because without any medical training, that's my first idea. Can you get skin from another person? No, right? I took skin from everyone, dude. I have everybody's skin right now. Did you take all your friend's skin? Actually, when I woke up, my dad thought it would be funny to tell me I have my sister's butt skin on my face. <laughs> and I was so drugged up that I was so freaked. I was like, no fucking way. This Bro, your dad blow. has a sick sense of humor to say yeah. that shit. And yeah, the time, he's got a ponytail. That's where you. That's where, that's where you get it from. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm working with. He's got that dad fat, like that's all from beer, and it's just hard. It's a hard stomach. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's got a muscle gut. East coaster right here. He's down in Jersey, down by the Jersey Shore, you, right? Do you know who I am? You don't even know who the fuck I am. I don't know who anybody is, dude. I you stay in my room all the time. <laughs> you said that he knew he, he was a little mo fan. Bro, I'm a Staten Island fucking scumbag. He told me that when, when when he was bringing you on that you were like a big fan of my work and shit. <laughs> Mo, you know how many people would love to be in this spot? You know what I had to do to get here? He's like a Borgia. Or the, what are, you know, a like Borgia? the Borgia? You make up that word just now? No. The Medici's, the Borgias. These are not words. You don't know who they are? <laughs> fucking. Do you know who the Medici's or the Borgias are? No, but I'd like to. Explain. You don't know what they are in history. They saw the no. Renaissance. You're just saying more things that are harder to understand. I'm saying it's like the, the Medici's and the Borgias. They were famous families that they... Uh, in they, when? The 1700s? <laughs> I don't know what years they were. I think it was the 1500s. That's the medieval times? It's not medieval, like Renaissance time. Bro, Nelk Boys just had Elon Musk, and we're talking about the Medici's over here. And, and we don't even know the boys? year. I have a funny Nelk Boys story. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. You, let, you know the Nelk Boys, right? Hell yeah, I like that you don't know the Nelk Boys, but you know, you know, you know who I am, right? Yeah, man, I know who you fucking are. Okay, <laughs> wanna, I, I just wanted to get that at least, this you know. <laughs> what, um, oh, the Nelk Boys, like they pranked me. Pull the mic oh, one closer. of the guys pranked me. Really? The little kid. Salim, the one that goes. No, the one that's on the show, what's his name? Um, Kyle? Kyle? Co host. Steiny? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Steiny <laughs> pranked you that fucking. A little weasel? A little weasel, yeah. <laughs> and I went nuts trying to find him. I know where he's at. You were hunting him down? We not, can call We could really. set him up. I, I, mean, when I, I, I hunt people down. It's pretty simple. Like two, three calls. But I, I, I found out it was a joke. I didn't know it was a joke. So yeah. I was really embarrassed. Oh, so you were going like, to hurt him? You were going to rough no, him up No, I wasn't going to definitely hurt him, but I was going to just kind of like let it be known that I wasn't feeling it. You're not, not going to be fucking made a fool of. They had like a bit they were doing. Where they would have like like two girls like talk to guys, yeah, and then they would make believe that that like he'd make it like it was his girl and he was mad, yeah, and he would talk mad shit, <laughs> and then he would jump behind like two big bounces, you know, security guards, yeah. So what happened was, is I'm married with kids. Uh -huh. Some girl literally just comes up to me and she's like, "Hey, you're Italian," and they're what hidden you? camera filming you. They were filming a whole bunch of shit, but it was like a whole staff, like a whole crew. They were filming some other shit. A show. Yeah. But off on the side, the girls are like, hey, you little mo, whatever, you're cool, you're Italian, what part of Italy your family's from, all this bullshit. Yeah. And then he just comes over, and I never seen him before, because I don't watch their show. 
I don't know who anybody is. I didn't know who Steve Will Do It is. Yeah. I didn't know who Steiny was. I don't know the characters. Yeah. I never watch them. I just knew that, you know, they were popular. for college kids, you know. Whatever it was. But I knew that they were popular. So I was like, someone told me come down and then maybe I'd be in this video. Mm -hmm. They made it like it was off on the side, like like there's some random thing, but they had the camera on me. <laughs> so then he like comes out and he's like, what the fuck? Who Steiny did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking to my girl or whatever, you know? And I'm like, is this a bit? <laughs> and then they were, he's like, no. You know what I mean? Like, he don't tell me that it's not a bit. He yeah. keeps going with it. Yeah, of course. So I got, like, really fucking mad. Like, I was like, you're in New York. I'll fucking kill you. Like, I saw getting crazy. Oh, shit. Is this out? Can I watch this? No, they, I don't think they're going to put they it They never out. aired it? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't I don't know. They may air it. Probably worried that they're going to get fucking clipped, knowing you. No, I don't know. I what, got the pistol right here. I got the pistol right here. Exactly. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. So I they leave. And I was, like, fucking furious. I yeah. was like, yo, this first off is going to make me look ridiculous. That's his good friend if you want to get is revenge. It, is it really? You could just take it out on him, actually, and that'll get the message few, across. We'll have a few edits. So whatever. So I messaged him, and then I retracted the message like seven times. Oh, were, shit. Like, crazy. You know how you can vanish the message? Yeah. I was like pissed. I think it still stays on there. I have no fucking side, I think I'm a psycho. So what <laughs> happened is. Did you threaten no, him? I nah, do that all I, the time. I would never threaten like on social media. It's stupid. Why would you do that? What I about just, in the DMs? No, you don't do that. Why would you do that? I wouldn't get in trouble. I would never do that. No, I mean, it's I might have, I may have done it, but I'm not anymore. Long story short, my friend knew the girl, and they let me know that it was a prank. Oh, okay, and they took it down out of respect. No, they didn't. They ever, never posted it out no, of respect. No, they may get posted tomorrow. We don't know. Oh fuck! Then we're gonna have big problems. We're gonna have to call. Hey, when was this? It wasn't that long ago. We're at here. They were in New York not that long ago. Oh yeah. You know what you're like? You're like our Joey Diaz. We, you know Joey Diaz? Yeah. You kind of got that Joey Diaz vibe. A lot a of people younger, say that. A lot of people say that. And, he, and yeah, and he's like talks about drugs and shit a lot. Yeah. No, he you was don't, definitely you like don't that. have a lot of drug history? Nah. You don't like drugs, huh? Not into him. a little mean, cigar? You want to smoke that cigar? Nah. All right. Hey, fucko. Hey, fucko. Is that Joey Diaz up here? Yeah. <laughs> Keegan, what's going on with you, bro? What time is it over there on the East Coast? It is 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. It's three hours. Three hour difference. You don't know that? I don't fucking need. <laughs> Is this your first time on the West Coast? No, I've been here before. It's shit hole. You would you move out here? I'm thinking about it. Really? Yeah, we'll trade one shit hole for the other. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. No, if I, I like think that I would do a you. bi. No, not a full time. Like a bi coastal thing. I think I made though. You don't even like this pizza. And this is a New York pizza. What are you gonna do? How are your videos gonna? You're well, gonna go from good, good energy you where you're. Pizza. But you review food and you go to these great pizzerias in New York and then you just had the first. L.A. pizza, you're like, this fucking sucks. This is fucking I don't. trash. What about you, Keegan? Are you going to move out of here and pursue your comedy career? No, I don't know. New York's the spot to be right now for comedy. I it think. is, right? Plus, you guys don't have a... You want to come on a show? Around. You want to do a fucking show together? I'll sure. bring you on the team if you want to come out here, or we could do it over Zoom every week. Oh, yeah? It's, like, it's rare I find people that I can actually, well, relate to, you know... Took my spot. I'm not relatable, Jeff. I think I'm just awkward, man. I think that's that's what's going on right now. No, bro, you've experienced trauma. You use comedy to cope. You're a good looking guy. And, oh, I'll tell you the truth, you don't even look fucking burnt to me. Dude, isn't that crazy? I was I was literally upset that my burn jokes weren't working anymore because I didn't look burned enough. I was like telling my doctors to slow down. I was like, chill out, fucking relax. I want to look more burned. My yeah. jokes aren't landing anymore. You want me to smoke a cigar in here? We'll be S fucking Who dead. gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. Do whatever I mean, you want. I'm not really a I, I don't, like you don't have to. We can open the door. Steven, you want to open that door? How about I just hold it? Yeah, that, sh that looks cool <laughs> enough. It looks cool. You're really friends with this fucking kid, Steiny? We're going to have to talk to him after, Steiny. We're going to give him a call. We, let's call Steiny. Put him in the group chat, Oscar. Let's get him on the fucking screen here. And we'll, we'll call him after Keegan because Keegan's got to go to sleep soon. Over there, it's late. What's at, what, what time you go to bed, Keegan? And it depends. It depends when that depression runs out. You know, it depends you, when I stop being being depressed. What are you doing for the depression? I just, uh, I don't know, sleep. Yeah, you're right. Are you? On, I'll go to sleep soon. Are you on any meds? Are you smoking weed? I'm raw dogging it. Really, just really giving life my all. No, I can't smoke weed either because I get freaked out. I get real skeeved out. And the lungs too, right? Dude, you take care of those I don't like yeah. smoking weed. So where are you living now? Are you? On your own? I live in Jersey City. I live with a bunch of other comedians. I like, uh, we have an office down like the road. a content house like, you're living in? Yeah, but it's way grosser because it's stand-up comedians. Uh, you guys okay. shower. Yo, stand-up comedians shower. are dicks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yo, but, dicks. They're such <laughs> fucking dicks, bro. 
But they're, they're lovable they're dicks. They're haters. They're like sick haters. They all hate each other's content. Jealous of each other, talk shit. Oh my behind god, each other's the backs. worst. Dude, I just did stand up here uh in Chateau. You know it? Oh, you're not from no. here. Yeah, yeah. I just did stand, I just did it the other day. How many people were in that room? I don't know, maybe 150 people. Oh, okay, nice room. So I was supposed to do ten minutes. So I have like a ten minute set that's pretty funny. But it has in comedy we call a callback. You know what a callback is, right? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean I didn't know, I just learned it, but he's a comedian. <laughs> So I couldn't do the callback, which is the whole funny fucking part of the joke. So, because they told me I only had oh, you five, cut five off? minutes. No, they gave me five minutes instead of ten. Damn. So when Damn. I got up there, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make fun of the guy I came here with. I told you this whole story, No, right? you didn't. You didn't tell me this. We didn't talk? No. You I told you save mics? it for the podcast because you, you, every time I talk to you, it's a half hour phone call. That's basically half a podcast we do every time we talk. So we anyway, all I did was make fun of the kids I came with. So I grabbed two kids to come work for me while I was in California to follow me around with cameras. All they did was fucking eat and f try to put themselves in my video. Are you actively going to open mics? No, I'm not. Uh, I want to, but I haven't had time. But what happened is I, I have a lot of friends that are in um, comedy. So I have one comedy club that's in Long Island where uh, they want to work with me to do a show. So yeah. they've been letting me, like, all the other comedians will hang around and they let me get on stage and try to do my, my bit. Like, they've been working with me, like, once a week. I've been doing that for, like, three weeks. And and I went and I did, like, I did two shows with the same set. See, he's got a brand, and he's kind of made, like, a niche style of content. And you could tell he's such a charming, entertaining guy. Well, you know, this is a niche area for, like, because, you know, it's like, I'm an Italian-American. I hate the Italian play. You know, because, like, there's so many. So I'm, I don't think I'm, like, the other time Americans I see like like Tony Soprano I'm not into that you know yeah like, I, like I'm not in I'm not a guy who watches Sopranos I didn't watch the Sopranos really no I watched a couple episodes did you like Goodfellas and shit like yeah, that up until he becomes a rat okay fair enough so the, once he comes a rat I'm done with it did you ever see the Howard Stern <laughs> interview with the real Henry Hill uh, yeah he's a rat yeah so they Wait, got do you turn the movie, the movie off, off when he becomes a rat yeah he's a, like a very famous rap. But how is Stern usually like abuse him a little bit, no? Big time. He yeah. got him wasted and he got him to confess to murder. It's nuts. Watch the whole Howard Stern interview on Henry Hill. He's saying, yeah, I killed two guys. And he ratted to get off, so he got out of jail. And he finally admitted. But they don't show that in Goodfellas. It's based on a true story. Yeah, none of them are true. None of them are true. And he's not cool at all. Like Ray Liotta, RIP, he made that shit look cool up until the rap part. But, right, once he starts sniffing coke and shit, I shut the movie off. Okay. I don't yeah. know what it is. The it helicopter. just turns for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The movie. I mean, we could talk about shit like that. Like, I don't care about talking about movies. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, in general, to tell you everything, what I'm saying is, I'm more of like a working class New Yorker. That's my vibe. What'd you do before you made it as an entertainer? Construction. construction? Yeah, yeah. But I, I, so I was been in all different aspects of construction my whole life. And then, um, and, and I was working for a developer. You know what they say in Goodfellas? He was a wise guy and he said he did construction as a front. Is that what he did? And she touched his hand. She goes, it don't feel like you do construction. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, you don't got no calluses on no, those I hands. No, I don't do construction like that, no. You were whacking people. You were the muscle. <laughs> yeah, right. This is all a front you're giving us. No, yeah. I'm just fucking around. Yeah. I believe you. Have you ever whacked anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? He's a rat. Oh, that's got, uh, that's big Diaz. pussy, motherfucker. So like, yeah, like you know what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not trying to be like those typecasted guys. Is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, like I, that, like that, like like I like those guys. Yeah. But I'm not trying to do like if even if I was to do acting, like let's say I wanted to try acting, mm -hmm. I really wouldn't even try to do those parts. Could you do other accents, southern accents? I do Russian. Say, um, uh, I'm the United States, and you're Putin. Uh, so uh, let me be the United States. Uh, Putin, can you please stop what you're doing in Ukraine? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> That's damn good, man. We got Steiny on the screen. Oh, this motherfucker. Yo, tell him what he did to me, this yeah. prick. Yo, Steiny, we got a bone to pick with you, pal. Bro, this guy That's fucking good. tried to fight with me in Bro. the park. If any video a little mo goes public on Nelk Boys' page or your own oh, page, right. mo. <laughs> no, guy. you never told me if it was a joke or not. I don't, I don't play when I'm beefing with people, bro. Never a joke, bro. This guy's fucking a master fucking prankster. Bro. <laughs> I know he is. I know this guy. Yo, well. you're fucking good, bro. Can I have a light? Steiny almost ruined this man's life. His Steiny, marriage. What's up? 
You got him set right? up? No, we have no problem with signing. Oh, I thought this was... No. no, I just told you what they did to me. He's a master fucking prankster. Oh, my bad, Steiny. You know, Steiny, you know the story that my friend knew the girl? <laughs> you don't even know the story? No, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, I remember you from New York, Mo. You were, you were a decent guy, but Oh, fuck. My bad, Steiny. What's going on? Hey, good... You don't remember go you were doing a fucking bit where you had the girls... They would go up to people and you'd be like, yo, that's my girl, chill the fuck oh, out. Oh, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you did it to me and no one told me it was a joke. So I'm telling my wife the story. I'm like, yo, I'm going to be on TV with this fucking thing. I I don't know what they're going to do. And what happens, my friend, knew, my friend knew the girl. So after 12 hours of me suffering and writing you messages on Instagram that you didn't answer, the girl's like, yo... <laughs> It's a Bro, joke. Steiny, whatever you do, do not Bro. check your messages from Lil Mo. Yeah, no, no, no. There's no, a no. lot of threats that. in there, a lot of no, mean stuff. No, there were no threats. There were no threats. You were not going to pull that girl, bro. She was way out of your league. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't even trying to pull her. She asked me if I was Italian. That was oh, it. Yeah. Yo. And you you oh, came God right over. It. You go, bro, don't talk to my yo. girl like that or whatever. No, you said, do you know her? And I'm like, before I say anything, you're like, you're never going to know her or some bullshit. I don't know what you did, but you were good. And then you yo, skated off. And I'm yeah, like, yo, no, is he kidding? And, he, no, and, and no one either. told me he was kidding. They're like, nah, he's mad. Damn, I, didn't get that either. I, I, I really want to just give a shout out because I really do appreciate you guys. Uh, Kyle, your producer, sent me a message and said, yo, would love to have you uh, FaceTime into Jeff FM. I was like, dude, would love to. What time? Assuming it'd be tomorrow. And he said, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steiny, my bad. Downstairs. I appreciate like, you, you coming on the show. I wouldn't be doing this on a Friday night. Oh, yeah, you got nothing going on? I, I thought you'd be out at a club or something. Big bottle, Bro, sparklers. I'm about to leave. Oh, okay. But I had to pop in. Celebrate Where's that Elon that? Musk interview, man. That was great. Insane. Yeah. What yeah, are you dude, doing I now? Actually, I, listen, to be honest with you, I didn't know who the fuck you are until you played the prank on me. And now I watch him. He just fucking you, you interviewed You guys had a great Elon. interview. I watch it. I watch yeah. it. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank what, you. Now, now, I'm a, now I'm like a fan, bro. Steiny, where do you we go from boys. here? Where do you go from here after interviewing Elon? What's next for you? I mean, I'm on I'm on Jeff FM right now. I, I stay That's winning. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I fucking stay winning, baby. We are reinventing the wheel over here, Mo. We are. Where's Daddy Steve? You don't see him? Cut oh, to him. Yeah. Oh, what up? How you doing, bro? <laughs> What's going on? He hasn't fucking shot. told me what he does. Well, yo, yo, isn't he? He's like a. He's a co-host. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were having a whole conversation before you came on about this. Is how this whole shit started, right? But he does research and he comes up with good questions and you he think talks. He, so arguably, he's a better co-host. Oh, than me, yeah, a thousand percent. Than Steve, what? yeah, a hundred percent. I can't do what Jeff does, bro. That's the go. Because uh, I was like, I've been on for like two podcasts in my life, and I'm always like, yeah. what does the co-host do really? It just backs you up. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, just back him up. Well, Steiny's a, a Steiny's a uh, he's a big deal. Steiny, we'll let you go. He's going to Mars. Wait, real quick, he's I on do the next say Jeff, real quick uh, SpaceX out. shuttle out. What's that? Yo, real quick, <laughs> dude. I'm I, my my uh, uh, I've been we've been exclusive for two and a half months. Wow. And uh, we we started bonding. She actually Steve. I think she met Steve, but she told me she's the biggest fan of the show. Really? So Wait, actually yeah, she met me? Jeff FM and Barbershop. Wow. And since I've been with her, she's no longer allowed to watch. Oh, okay. Penny, so. <laughs> well, Snidey, I, I, I would never, uh, I would never betray you. Know. you. I'm, I'm going to DM you her name, and if she if she hits you up, you need to let me know. <laughs> done, done deal. Done Sandy deal. Too much trauma. Right. Thank oh. you. Thank you for popping Sorry, in, Steiny. Glad bless. we cleared God that bless. up. I'm glad we cleared that up. Yeah, What's we're that? boys now. Elon Musk to Jeff FM. I'm fucking trending, baby. Let's Send them over. Send Elon over. All right, easy. God bless, bro. There we go. We got Elon coming on the show now. Look at what you did for me, Mo. Oh, you do? Nice. Keegan, what's going on with you, bro? How you doing? <laughs> Not much, man. Just, you know, being a burn victim on your podcast. And <laughs> now, you're a good co-host because you took a back seat on that. You saw that there was too many cooks in the kitchen, and you yeah, read the yeah, room yeah. well. Thanks, man. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 21. 21, bro. Young, yep. man. What year were you born? 2000. Damn, right before 9-11. Where were you on 9-11? I was in Florida. <laughs> what are you, you what, are you lying? <laughs> no, were no, you involved? I was. I was. You, you were involved crazy? in 9-11? No, no, no. My cousin was a crackhead. <laughs> yeah. From Staten Island. Okay. He smoked crack. Yeah. Apparently, he told us this. We don't know if it's true. But one of the hijackers. What the fuck? That's what he said. That's what he, he swears by it. He smoked crack at one of the he hijackers? He said that he smoked crack, yep, because I was in Florida... Uh, by like Boca Raton over there, and um, 
That's where they went to train, if you remember. Yeah. And he swore that he smoked crack with a guy, and the guy told him he was going to do that. Why didn't he tell him not to do it? Why didn't I he have no, go, don't do that? He's, on, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's high on crack. But we don't know if probably sound if like a good idea to him. Or so, it could have really happened. Nobody knows. I don't yeah. know. Give him a video game. Crackheads love that stuff. Tell him not to take you planes You know something? I never even knew a crackhead until like my... Staten Island's like advanced with drugs. Staten Island is bad, yeah. yeah especially like they're with advanced. The like they're always had it over the It's like, you know, like, yeah, they're bad with drugs over there. Yeah. I was a barber, so I would cut people and they'd be nodding out. They'd be really? falling asleep and I'd have to like wow. cut their hair as they're falling down. Wow. So I have a lot of experience with them. But yeah, crackheads make a lot of shit up. But you never know. But it's like also like they probably think about it. If I was going to do that hijack and I might smoke crack first. Yeah, you got to fry some brain cells because you know? you're going to die at the end of it. It's not like a, a mission where like you could celebrate after. If Let's, it's if it goes well, you die. What do you like, guys want to talk about? We're talking about a fucking 9-11 conspiracy. This is a great story. Are you kidding okay. me? This is oh, great. Well, that happened. You're crushing it. <laughs> I'm doing good? Absolutely. This is one I of the funniest shows. I thought I was stealing this guy's fucking thunder over here. Who gives a fuck? No, I'm kidding, Man. Keegan. You've been, you've been I don't great, have any bro. thunder to steal, I feel dude. terrible that, like, I, I want to you want to go on a show with me or something? Let's do some yeah, man. shit. I'm saying, let's do. You want to come on my comedy show? Hey, man, I'll do comedy anytime, any place. That'd be great if you guys do something together. So I, that would just not? warm I mean, my now heart. You have to put a show together. I'll put them on a fucking show. I would love that. I'll do it. Look at this. We're connecting the dots. Jeff FM bringing comedians together all Close over the world. It almost makes it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> He's sick. Damn. I was scared to wear this fucking shirt around here. I ain't gonna lie. What? What happened? The blue? I, yeah, I didn't know. Like, a lot I don't of know danger the with the here. colors. <laughs> I go by rules, you know. This is a gift for you. That's my company. It's a nice leather bag. Jeff's what Barbershop the fuck? Products. Oh, that's dope. I can't fucking set, put it through what the, the fuck, screen. dude? Well, I will really mail put, it to you. And you put shit in there? Keegan, message your address into the group chat this with Oscar. Shit? Yeah. That's dope. Open it up. Smell it. Here, take a whiff of this. The new Moment deodorant. Is this? Give me a it's gift, a pomade. Then. Hair <laughs> oh, product. For real? Yeah. You have deodorant? Take a sniff of that. What's that? What oh, it you... smells good, bro. Yeah? Can you get, really your shit? I swear. Yeah, I worked on that you for must years. You're making a fucking ton of money. Those bro. are not out yet. Those are going to come out and change the game. This guy got a ton of fucking money. <laughs> Joe, what are you doing tonight? Let me go. Wow. wow. Can we get a wow? How you doing? <laughs> Yo, listen. Jeff ain't fucking playing around. So, wait. All right. So, I need, to, I need to do a drop. So, look. Smell this. Wait. Where are you getting all this shit, bro? I need some products, bro. Yeah, I just gave you a... No, for my own self. Oh, you want to collaborate, make an actual product for you to sell, make some money. I need to make some money. We'll collab on something. What, do you want to do a pizza sauce or something? No, nah, fucking hair gel. <laughs> oh, you want to do... I want to call it the How You Doing. Wow, okay. Let's do it, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Because what do you do when you gel your hair? How you doing? I, I mean, yeah, I do that. He's sick. Yeah. So nice you got cold. a pomade... Yeah. This is nice. Can I Keegan, you'll begin to package too. Look at me. I'm like Oprah. When you put Old Spice on, you're like, I don't want to get any girls. Bro, now I see why exactly. all these brands are hiring you and paying you the big bucks. How you doing? We're making tons of money here. Yeah. All right, this Keegan. This guy got more well, fucking cameras that I don't even know who. What do you think? You're Martin Scorsese? <laughs> <laughs> he shot with a single cam. Is that what Scorsese, he shot with? Scorsese on film. Yeah, mostly. Yo, I do not want beef from Martin Scorsese. Let's make this clear. <laughs> Well, let's straighten that out because you just, it sounded like you were dissing no, me. No, because by... I read some sick shit about Mon Scorsese. That he had like a book, like he deals with some kind of weird shit. Like, like a, so we might have to Google this. Sports gambling? Like no, a book? Like, like some collect... like jerking off shit that he has to jerk off and like, I'm not even kidding you, like seriously, it was on the internet. <laughs> he was Dude, jerking off? Like he has like a thing, like he has to like run and jerk off every once in a while. Like, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm that's what the Irish man was run? About, Oh, so he would stay like the focused? He has, <laughs> no, he has like some thing that came out. It came out on him that he has like a some kind of illness. He jerks off like he can't help himself in traffic. I never shit. heard this. What type yeah. of, what's that illness called? I never heard it either. Someone sent me an article and then I started reading it. It's yeah, on the man. internet. Google the motherfucker. A, I mean, he's got like a sex addiction. Oscar, can you pull that up? Yeah, yeah like Martin like, Scorsese. Like, just type in Martin Scorsese sex jerking off. Yeah, I read it. <laughs> I think it's real. Jerking That's off. Shutter <laughs> Island was about <laughs> illness. <laughs> I don't want people. I'm trying to be in one of his movies. I don't think I can get in a movie. After he this. follows me on Instagram. Does he really? I have no idea why. I sit here and do fucking stupid podcasts and so I mean, do so, haircut so, videos. So should we retract the thing? Should we edit that out? <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to be like next to Nero. You know I, what I'm I can't. I can't find anything on him. I don't off. know. Well, someone told me that. Look harder. 
Who, the crackhead cousin <laughs> in, in, with the terrorist? I heard that. So Bro, bad. you can't believe everything you hear over there in New York. Everybody's nuts. Everybody's yeah, nuts. you can, dude. Yo, there's nothing. You tell me yeah, nothing you came up about that. Uh, I saw Martin Scorsese jerking off by the witness. That's 100% a made-up thing. So it's so bad shit. They told me he jerks over his feet. <laughs> Bro, you can't do vodka. You're gonna spread all this misinformation. <laughs> it's and he kills anybody, people while he does it. <laughs> Joe Rogan, what's going on with him? Anything? No, I, I fucking he does weird shit. I heard. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> I heard that he like like to stares at blank walls <laughs> for hours. That's believable. No, I really heard that. He probably He's, dicks chicks. I heard shit about Lord, everybody. Right. <laughs> You can't ask me about anybody. He's fried his brain with well, the DMT. No, he can actually. Joe Biden. What are your thoughts on Joe Biden? Dude, I had, like, you know what's so crazy? Like, I try not to do political shit, right? Now, I don't care if you like him or not. Mm -hmm. He's made easy to make fun of. Yeah, of course. You no, know, I, I, but I do subscribe to, like, respecting your president. But I also don't follow politics. But he, he's much. 180 years old. He's mad old and shit. He fucking. He fell off the bike. He's all fucked up. Yeah. I did like deal. one little joke like I was watching him to like give a speech and like I did like an Instagram like I was watching him do a speech and I was like made a face and dude people were messaging me unfollowed those are the biggest losers the ones that announced <laughs> they'll follow you good you know, you're a fucking loser you have to be to write that to somebody I unfollowed you and then I go to look to see if they really did and they really do and I want to tell them they're losers but I don't want that type of... like. You're I don't giving really, them the satisfaction. You're like acknowledging them. You're giving them Yo, what they want. I have a funny story. This dude used to annoy the shit out of me, so I blocked them. So I have thousands of people blocked. But it's stupid to block people. You know that, right? That you're giving them what they want. You're, you're taking the people that, 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 that have the most interaction with your page and basically shutting them down. Like, you want the interaction. Okay, I see what you're like saying. Like, especially on... Right? You want, you want the engagement. That's like the haters are making you money. The haters are great because they're like, you're a jerk-off. And then somebody who likes you, would be like, you're a jerk-off. Why are you hating on him? And then he'd be like, go fuck your mother. And then they're like, go fuck your sister. That's engagement. It's engagement. But I, I was blocking them because I couldn't handle it. Yeah. But now I'm just like, I'm about to unleash the crack. Why? Shit like that gets to you? It did when I started. Yeah, because I was a regular guy. I didn't understand that that people do shit like that. I yeah. used to hate comments literally... not get to you, Jeff? No, hate comments. Yeah, they get to me. I don't get many, though. That's just yeah, an okay. asshole thing. That I'm kidding. Them. No, I'm did you around. ever? Yeah, of course. I get them all, all the time. Right, They'll probably get... be on this video right now, the way I'm treating Keegan over here. Keegan, you get hate comments? I, think, I don't think he even looks that burnt. I get hate comments burnt. all the time, dude. He doesn't like, look Like, I'll tell you right now, you don't look that burnt. <laughs> Bro, okay, it doesn't matter if he's that burned. He's still dude, burned. I'm burned, I promise. No, no, he's no, still, but you don't understand what I'm burned. trying to say. Like, I'm not... <laughs> If I'm a viewer, dude, do you want me to do it again? No. I'll do it again to prove you're it. You're not burned you. enough, bro. No, but I'm saying this, dude, you're not watching. burned enough for Mo's liking. I'll you. do it again. I promise. Now he's being dicks. <laughs> We're being dicks, bro. He said he's not burned enough. I don't mean it like that. I mean, I, I, I mean, I feel bad for everything you went through, but I'm just saying in general, it doesn't fucking matter. God damn it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Why? Hey, comments. Do they? Do you give a fuck about them? I'm sure. I mean, right? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, and this is fresh, you know. Yeah, I'm still I get a lot not. Of, uh, I get a lot of puns. Uh, like a lot of people are like, "Am I allowed to say you're hot?" And it's lame every time. It's the yeah. lamest thing you could say. Yeah. No. Oh, it's, am I allowed to say you're hot? Oh, I just caught that too. Fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Slowing uh, down. What happened to you? You got hit in the head with something, right? I got hit in the head with a, a crane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got blasted in the head with a piece of from a crane. An excavator. Yeah. Wow. Fucking. Maybe you don't know, do that diggers. anymore, man. Thank you, Keegan. Dude, Fuck you're not it. hit enough, dude. I don't see shit on your face. <laughs> I'm covering it, man. Uh, you have... No, but the eye comments, I make the jokes too, but yeah, they fucking bug me a lot. Well, you, especially, you, you, you know, like we're gradually well, getting used to well, it. Well, you have something with your eye? Yeah, my eye got smashed in. My eye's a little fucked up. See this one? It's a little smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it now. <laughs> is it not? The smart? problem with the jokes is when they're not good. That's what sucks. Like if someone's making a joke and it's a good one and it makes you chuckle a little, that's fine. But some people are just like seven and they're like, oh, yeah, you're fucked up. <laughs> OK, like a kid says something like that. What would yeah. you say? I get a lot of guys acting. I get a lot of people try to act like tough guys with me. Oh, <laughs> you poor guy. I get you a lot of fucking... no, but I get a lot of guys like that. I like that with me. Like, I guess my personality. Yeah. Or I'll get like people that when they meet me. They think they're supposed to act like that with me. They need to match your energy. Yeah, they're like, what's up, you fucking jerk off, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're like, like, what the fuck? You don't know me. Like, you're hanging on me like a fucking vulture, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I, forget, you gotta say, I do a lot of weird shit. You don't know what I do. 
because you don't barely follow me. You jerking off? Yeah, like, no, I don't do shit like that. I, I do like wedding crashing. Really? Yeah, I get hired to wedding crash. That's like weird. Vaughn? People hire you? To, yeah. So what, they hire you to crash their enemy's wedding? To crash their, their big friends? Day? No, like they'll be like, yo, they'll hire me to crash their daughter's wedding. or Oh, in like a good, funny way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Everything with me should just, everything should be cha-ching, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make money off of everything. Uh, we have the red, uh, weatherman ready. Oh, fucking this Who's fucking, this fucking guy? We got to do a weather segment here. Where is he? Uh, he is... We'll find out in a second. This fucking guy's getting abused, bro. I mean, yeah, feel free. He, he's he's been doing a shit bro. job. Yeah, he's doing a terrible job at it. Hey, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. Oh, I can tell you where you're from from that haircut. <laughs> what? Are you from Jersey? He's drunk. Yo, have some respect for the show here and what We're you're careful. what you're hired to do. I'm up $50 right now, Jeff. Hell yeah, I'm gambling your money, bro. I'm gambling your money. Bro, you got the freshest right hair, here, bro. We got, we got roulette tables. I'm I have no clue what's going on right now. This guy's supposed to be telling us the weather. Hold on, this is your boys? This is my, my employee. He's my employee. Wait, he works for you? Yeah. I, we were That's supposed to do the show nice an hour ago, here. and now he's out drunk in Vegas Wait, you gambling. got Jonah on the podcast? Wait, I thought Jonah got fired. Who's have that? some respect for my guest here. He'll, Who he's the a fuck fucking... Is Jonah? Bro... That hair is definitely fake. Yeah, roast him. He's a fucking jerk off, this no, guy. No, he looks fresh. He disrespects. He's taking my money, and he's gambling. He's drunk. No, no, he's not even, he has, his, his job is to tell us how the weather right is. Now? I need the co-host. I need the fucking co-host to jump no, in here. No. Co-host. Are you up right now? Oh, he's going to ask him if they're up right now. No one around me is up right now. Oh, but I'm up right wait, but wait, no where are they? One. Are they a couple? Did they are just you, get married in Vegas? Are you, uh, yeah. are you married to this guy? Yeah, for his, but we're we're happily divorced as well. This is pissing me off. That. This is my least favorite fucking segment. Can you we've pull done. that mustache off? Or? <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a glued on Halloween star I'm mustache. Not I don't see this. this to, look, it's it's not, not, that's not fake. No, no he's real. this is a real person. No, it's not fake. He's a and shitty. And he's gonna he's give a, the I, weather. I am a real person. No, this no, is, he's saying uh, that. The weather this is, this is Jonah, by the way. The weather in Vegas is Ooh, up. Get him off, get him off the we screen. Get him off the screen. Right get him off the screen. <laughs> the weather in Vegas is up right now. Oh, so he's That's money. Mo, you like that, huh? It's up, he's saying. The, the weather's, you know, it's up. He's winning money. But That's I don't, what, I mean, the weather up they're not Vegas real. Right now? That's a real person. He's not a good person. The he's a up. bad guy. The weather's up. Look, that guy, The the he said it's up. But what is his job right now? Is he trying to rob the Re casino? Report. <laughs> I, he, I don't say is that an Ocean Eleven outfit. Is that like he, he that put a, that outfit on? That's Ocean Eleven and a half. <laughs> hey, how about you go fucking take a peek outside and tell us the weather? Why can't I we be that find guy? The outside, I would why love are you to, fucking but, giving this shit money? Mo, I didn't know that was an option. I would love that, bro. Why I want to be you know on your show? I could be the guy to give the weather. You guys know bro, what the done deal. Is what? This done. guy sucks. Oh my god. This guy does suck. I'll pay you to have me do it. This guy costs you money. Degrees <laughs> on a constant basis. What? Wow. This guy says what? 87 to 93 on a constant basis. Okay, great, great. That's there we go. Said. There we go. That's Fucking said. good yeah, job. Yeah. You got it done. What up, Mo? How's it right, going? What do you think the weather is right now? Bro, these haircuts are ridiculous. Why is this guy think it's negative 20? She thinks it's negative 20. Why do you. <laughs> Wait, you guys are all random? People with bad hair? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is hysterical. Don't let them all out. Okay, you know I don't what he looks like? Her. You know who this dude looks like? He looks like the owner of Studio 54. Can we pull Here, him let up? Let me ask this guy. Yeah. That's yeah. him. Oh my yeah. Excuse That's me, him. Sir. What's the weather in Vegas right now? You're on a podcast. It's live. How's the weather What's out the weather? there, yeah. sir? The weather is about 85 and hot. About 85. Check? Oh, there you go. There's a guy. That looks like him, right? <laughs> Doesn't it look like him? From where is it? Look, with a mustache. Draw a mustache on that guy. <laughs> Put them next to each other. That's he's reborn, dude. But remember to see Ryan get deck. <laughs> Somebody's going to fuck Ryan up right now. So what do you do? You have all these characters that come on? Yeah. Why can't you bring me on? I would love to. I want to do No, I just met you. How the fuck would I know to do this? No, but I'm saying it's not right. This I'll guy's costing you a fortune. I know. I'll call you every time. Give this fucking guy. <laughs> all right, hang up the fucking phone. Get it. We're done. We're done. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hey, fuck you. <laughs> I feel bad. I didn't want to get in trouble. I felt like I was going to go to jail. <laughs> like if I kept making fun of him. 
<laughs> like, no, it's I, fine. I actually felt bad. Like, that's when it's good, but <laughs> it's fine. That's the point. That's that's the whole when point you of having him on. Feel like you're crossing the line. No, Mo, that was the funniest weather segment I've ever done in my life. Are you we, serious? We've done a thousand of these. Dude, he, tell me he didn't I look was like crying. you were in Studio 54. I was crying. My face hurts from how hard Is I was laughing. Is your co-host going to be all right? I don't think he's coming back ever again. How you doing over there, Steve? How, how are you, you, bro? See, that was a different mm-hmm. variation of how you doing. I'm more interested in what he's doing. That's more like a concern. Mm-hmm. Steven, how you doing? What's how your you? nickname? Steve. That's it? You grew up over two here? Two-tone, two-tone. Sorry. No, no okay. Two-tone. A- everybody cool got a nickname. Yeah, two tone. Well, his skin is I mean, two I different feel like colors. If you don't so have a nickname. Two tone. Like, I think it's pretty cool that you have the act, <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, thank that's you. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, but you don't have any nickname. Two tone. Oh, because of the vitiligo. Two different color skin, <laughs> and it's funny. on. It's on his. I, I mean, you could tell him, Stephen. Go ahead, talk to him. What? I know about that shit. Really? Is your? Is your? You said your wife has it. My wife has it on her eye. Does it ever get pink when she goes out into the sun? Well, she did. She used to do some laser treatment or something. There was a, there's some kind of treatment you could do for it, right? No. She did some kind of... She tried, yeah. No. You know what he says? What What do you say when pe- when people at Vitilago just are asking it. you for advice? Just deal with it. I don't know. I don't know he what I'm doing either. I don't have advice. It. I don't know what I'm doing. That's his advice. Wait, hey, what it. is it? Explain it to me. Well, you don't have pigment where it's white. Like, I don't have pigment on my skin. Like, uh, there's like patches on my skin that don't have pigment. So it's oh, just man. white. There's no color. Does that make sense? Well, I can't walk right, man. So... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get sunburned really fast. <laughs> it's a pity party. <laughs> a trauma dump. Saddest <laughs> podcast ever. This shit's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did great here today. We got plenty of footage. That's it? We don't end with like a bang? What do you want to do? Fucking you gotta end with pull a gun fresh. out and shoot like a host? I have a really small penis. <laughs> I just mean, miniature. I swear. He's built like a cash. <laughs> he looks like the type of guy when you're in a urinal next to him. He looks over. He does. He like he peeks over he to does. see who you're working with. He does. You know what I do? Like you ever like accidentally peek over, and you know the guy thinks you just looked at his dick. You know <laughs> yeah, what I yeah. do? Well, the ones at the games. If you go in a stadium where there's like nothing, you know. Yeah. Sometimes there's a nice barrier between you, but sometimes you just piss in all in a, in a fucking. Bucket together. No, you gotta do. You gotta go. You gotta go to the bathroom when your boss is in the urinal, and then like and go like us. Like no matter what, go. You know how? Man, you never know. <laughs> that's good advice, man. Good advice. That's how you get a raise. There you go. That's we. That's what we do here on this show. We teach people some information they can take with them in life. So what do you think people lives? didn't get out of our episode? Uh, a lot of <laughs> insults. Funny I don't feel like, like I bring anything people. to the table. I'm actually like, I feel like I failed. Are you kidding me? Guys. Yeah, guys. Same here, man. Don't worry about it. See, sometimes sometimes I'll just mix a bunch of shit and see what happens, see what comes out of it. I think this was a masterpiece. Are we done recording? I think it all, no, we're still going. Oh. We're wrapping it up. I think this all worked out great today. I this love that I had you both on. Fuck. It took a little bit for us to, to get warmed up. But look, we're all complete strangers. And we made a, a beautiful piece of content today. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I think I found two new regulars in my crew. I think we absolutely smacked this one out of the park. I feel like I'm walking out of here and I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a little down, I thought. Over here on the corner Metropolitan <laughs> Avenue, your sister's <laughs> ass. Somebody comes at me like I'm Chris Rock. I got Get the pistol right here. How you done? Keegan, we'll let you go. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate Keegan, it. Take it easy, <laughs> bro. Sitting in. Later, man. All Thank right. You. Have a good one. Good night, brother. Good night. All right. Well, Mo, this was great. This is one of my favorite episodes ever. Really? I mean it. Yeah. Right? What do you do with that lava lamp? But it just kind of does its thing. It's a lava lamp. I don't do anything with it. I'm gonna watch it. Hit the table. Watch. Look at that. Oh. All right, you don't. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it, man. That's it. Play us off. Give us a song, yeah, and that's it. You have fun today. Why do you gotta put the fucking guy on the screen? I don't. I don't control that. Who is that guy? He's an old friend. We had a falling out. Can we see? I, I seen him somewhere else. I think. You possibly, well, that's Jonah Hill. You're thinking about. Super bad. <laughs>